Hi guys, so I'm about to film a hair video and I just thought to myself, instead of me to be doing my makeup in silence or just watching something, let me chat with you guys while I do my makeup. I've already put my foundation on just a little bit, I didn't put too much. But yeah, instead of just doing my makeup, let me just chat with you guys about how my family and friends reacted to the news of me relocating to the UK, okay? Me and my family relocating to the UK. <laughs> now, I didn't film anybody's reaction because to be honest, even though I'm on YouTube, even though I'm an influencer or a social media person, I am not really a camera person. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm not a camera person. Like, when something deep or serious is happening with me, my camera is the last thing on earth that I think of, okay? So, when I got the news and, you know, when things started progressing, I didn't think to film people's reactions. If you even watch my videos, you know that I don't really involve my friends much in my videos. Like... I have so many friends that you guys don't know about. I can mention, oh, I have a friend, but you will not see them in my videos. So when I started getting comments about, oh, I want to see, you know, how, I want to know how this person felt. I want to know how that person felt. I was like, hey, how I want to take, <laughs> I want to take that on that now because I didn't film it, okay? But anyway, I'm a good storyteller, okay? So I'm just going to tell you guys how everything happened and how each person reacted. So my parents, my friends, Amarachi and Elizabeth, everybody, I'm going to tell you how they all reacted, okay? So, I got this news on the, I'll try and do my makeup because I know myself, I'll just talk now and forget about makeup. So I got this news on the 15th of August, like I've told you guys before, that was the day my husband told me that, you know, we're going to be relocating. And uh, since some people, you know, expressed doubt about that, they said, I've been planning my trip for years or over a year and I'm just acting like, you know, it happened all of a sudden. And to those people, I was saying, now nah, you Sabi, now nah, that won't concern you. <laughs> like, that won't concern you. Anything you want to think, think like, okay, whatever. Anyway, so he told me on 15th of August, you guys saw the video. Um, where I, I talked about that and I showed you guys, you know, where he came and told me that he was taking the job. By the way, another thing that I think will put some things in perspective is that this, my husband's job, is still with the company that he has been working for for the past how many years, okay? He did not get a new job in a new company. I'm just going to say that for now. Maybe in subsequent videos, I'll give you guys more details, but it's not a new job, it's not a new company, okay? It's more like a transfer, if I'll call it that. So, yeah, because I saw people saying, how would you say your husband took a job without telling you? Like, I, was, were you not there when he was applying for the jobs and stuff like that? Anyway, uh, maybe if I care, in another video, I might give you guys details about how, why um, it was surprising to me. And to everybody, to be honest, okay? It was surprising to everybody because my husband is one of those people that... Kinda is that for head. <laughs> anyway, um, when he told me this news, I immediately went and told my um sister, okay, my my brother and sister. I chatted with them. I don't even think they were. I think that was in the afternoon. This was around maybe two o'clock. So maybe it was like early morning for them, okay. Either early morning for them or you know like very very early for them. So I don't know if they were awake immediately. I can't remember. I'll have to go through our chats to go and check. But I merely went and told them, if I can, maybe I'll just put some, some clips of the chat here, right? I told them about it and, you know, they were so shocked and so happy. You guys, my siblings, we are so happy for me here because, you know, my siblings now, both of them are, are in Canada. So, in fact, they've been low-key, high-key wishing that I'll come to Canada as well. So, they, but they were so happy for me. I was just asking them about how do people deal with the anxiety because I did not know that they went through... Or maybe they didn't tell me, but it didn't occur to me that people go through that kind of anxiety when they when they think of relocating. Again, my own might be slightly different because it wasn't, you know, part of the plan for us to relocate as at when we did. So maybe that was why I felt the anxiety a little bit more than normal. However, I I did not know that, you know, there was any anxiety involved at all. So my sister was like, ah, they were also, I was telling them I'm feeling anxiety. They were like, hey, for what? As in, to them, it was like, are you a joker? <laughs> Something we've been praying for. You are saying you are feeling anxiety. Anxiety cause anxiety bakoko. <laughs> so my siblings were happy for me. They just told me, oh, yes, they felt it, but you know, like at the end of the day, is a good thing. So um, it's not really, it's not that deep. Like the anxiety should not be what you focus on, and that actually helped me to try and remove my mind from it because when I say I felt anxiety, I did. Okay, 
yeah so my sister was so happy my brother was really really happy everybody was excited for us um you know that's both of them they were both excited for us they kept you know saying congratulations you know and stuff like that we started planning trip immediately how you know they will come and visit us you know we started making future plans of how basically we'll see how they can come and visit the uk it's going to be easier for them now to visit the uk from canada instead of going all the way to nigeria to come and see us that kind of thing right so i'm um, this my my concealer don't dry finish you um now that day that i actually found out about this thing, my mom was in my house right well i didn't tell my mom <laughs> i didn't tell my mom i didn't tell my mom that day simply because when my um before my siblings relocated they told my parents when you know the whole thing started making headway they told my parents and then all of a sudden i think it was post pandemic or something all of a sudden it felt as if everything came to a stop so th that period i used to feel for my parents because it was almost like ah it has always been my parents dream for all of us to leave the country okay so i felt bad for them that period because it was almost as if we've told my, my students had told them oh we're about to leave and then they're about to leave down to two years i think my brothers only took like or well, my sisters only took like two years my brothers only took like maybe one year plus after after he said they're about to leave they're about to was not about to in again okay so I felt for my parents that time. So when, when my, my husband told me this thing, I didn't want to tell my mom immediately. I was like, let's wait first because I wasn't even sure that I was going to go anywhere. So <laughs> I said, let me wait first. Let me be sure that I'm actually leaving this country. Let me maybe even um, get my visa or at least be sure that things are, are progressing before I tell my mom. So my mom was in my house, but I did not tell my mom, even though I was dying to tell my... Like, I don't even know how I kept that into myself because I was dying to tell my mom. I was like, hey. Eh? This thing my mom has been saying since finally it's happening, but I just didn't want to. To me, I felt like it was it was best for me to keep it a little bit until you know I'm very sure about the data and you know how things are going. Because again, my husband just accepted the job the day he told me. We hadn't really known the details. We hadn't really known when how everything will work. So I didn't tell my mom, right? Now, on a normal day, the person I would have told first after telling my siblings, or even before telling my siblings, would have been Nello. But that day, I did not want to tell... That day, my mom was around and Nello came to my house for something. I think... Oh, that was my birthday again. Yeah, actually. She came to my house. I remember, you know, I cut cake for her. Because she wasn't there when we cut the cake and stuff. Um, So she came to my house. She had come to my house early in the morning that day. But my husband hadn't, you know, accepted the job at that time. So I couldn't even tell her that morning. So when she came back to my house later on that day, uh, my mom was around. So I couldn't tell her in, when my, why my mom was there because I didn't want to tell my mom. Okay. And you know, how my mom were adjusting. How my mom always just a lot. So how my mom were adjusting. So I just, I just didn't want to tell her. And to be honest, I was a little bit reluctant to even tell her. That's just the truth. I just didn't want to tell her, you know, immediately as well. Cause I know how it was going to affect us. I was really thinking about the friendship. I was thinking about, ah, God, I'm more, where would I start from? And the funny thing is that Nelo used to joke about how I would soon leave her. Like, I was, I'm, that she's the only one left in Nigeria. That me, I would soon leave her and go. And I used to be like, which guy are you a joker? Which guy? I know they go anywhere. Now only me and you left. We used to joke and said that ah, it's only me and you that left in Nigeria. Eh, no wahala. We'll stay here. We'll make things work, you know. We're not about to leave. We're going to make it work. You know, things will work out for us. Nigeria will favor us. Things like that, right? So, when this whole thing now came up, I was like, choy. So, I was reluctant, but I knew that I just, I just had to tell her. And again, I was even looking for sympathy, to be honest. I was looking for who will console me. <laughs> That's the truth. I was looking for who will console me because I know that consolation will not even come from my siblings. My siblings were very happy, you know, but I was, I was, I, I really needed, you know, a listening ear, someone that would listen with me and, you know, console me and just, basically just listen to me anyway. It's not like I even need consolation like that, but basically just listen to me and, you know, just... I don't know what I what I even wanted, but you know, anyway, I just needed somebody that I could talk to, I could confide in, I could really tell how I was feeling. Because the way my siblings dismissed me immediately, I did not want to now start pressing it and be like, no, I'm actually feeling anxiety. I didn't want to press it too much before it, it would look as if I'm ungrateful or that I'm not, um, you know, I'm not thinking straight or something. I don't know. I just didn't. The way my siblings just we are so happy, I felt that I didn't want to bust their bubble. So I told them, okay, it's true. Yeah, ah, thank God. I'm excited though, but I was not excited anything. I was not. So I was thinking, ah, let me just go and tell Nello Joe. At least they don't understand me because I mean, I still tell her these things. So 
Lelo will understand me well, you know, we'll talk about it and all of that. But I couldn't tell her while she was in my house. So I remember when she was about to leave my house, I now told her that I have one very important gist to tell her. My mom was even standing there right beside me, but I couldn't hold it. I told her, see, I have one important gist to tell you. And she was like, ah, what is it? What is it? I told her, don't worry, just we'll talk later, right? She was like, okay, no wahala. Then, you know, she drove out of my house. So when she left, oh yeah, now call her and tell her the thing you want to call her and tell her. I could not call her. I actually would have preferred to have that conversation face to face. I wanted us to have the conversation face to face. So that was why I didn't even call her like after the thing happened. But trust Nello, Nello is not the kind of person that you would tell, eh, I have gist for you. And then you will not now give her that gist. Like, are, are you are you drunk? <laughs> Then I know you have juice for her. You better start spilling. Like she doesn't have that kind of patience to you for you people to be playing that game. Uh, when she went home, I remember like maybe like one hour later after she went home from my house, she called me. I mean she sent me a message and asked me, "Hey, what's the gist?" I mean she called me. I can't even remember. I think she. I think she, no, I think either she called me or she sent me a message. I don't I can't remember, but I know it was on the phone we talked to her. That's like, is either I called her after she sent me the message or she called me directly. So when she called me, I was like, um <laughs> the gist is that the long and short of the gist is a long story, but the long and short of it is that we are relocating out of Nigeria. We're going to the UK. And Hello was silent. I, she was just silent initially. I don't I can't even remember how that conversation went. Because to be honest, it, it even feels like a blur right now. I can't really remember the details of how that conversation went. But I know that it was obvious that she was trying to process what she was hearing. And she was I can't even remember what we said. Like if she if she remember said, let her even give that gist. Because to be honest, I don't even remember what how we ended that conversation. I think she even said something like, oh, that um she had always known, kind of, that we were going to leave um, because we don't really have ties in Nigeria like that, okay? Like, how she put it was, um, you know, how do I put it now? So basically, I think what she was trying to say is that she had always somehow known that we were going to leave Nigeria because we don't really have ties to Nigeria like that. Like, for instance, we were living in a rented house but I have to remind her that you know that we actually have a house, okay? For people that are telling me, don't worry, one day you will build your own, okay? We actually built a house in Nigeria. <laughs> That's why when people talk about, when, when people come and make up stories about YouTubers or about people that you see on your screen, when people make up stories, I just laugh because you never know, you never know, you know, what is going on behind the scenes. So I reminded her that I forgot that we actually have a house that we built. Even though where we built the house is not where we were living. So that was why we didn't live in the house that we built. But we actually built a house. We actually have a house. Um, she was like, I beg that one does not count job. Then um, I told her, I, I, but I have land now. <laughs> I mean, I personally, I have a land there in Nigeria. But I'm sure, you know, what she was really referring to is the fact that, you know, we don't have any established business in Nigeria. Um, my husband is not a business person. So, more funny enough, my husband has done businesses in the past too, and he did lose in those businesses. Too. It's just that it's either he just broke even, or you know the profit was small, and he was like, "I beg, I beg, I beg." This is what I'm suffering myself for. <laughs> so even though I was about to start a business before we left, in fact, I even have some of the things I bought for that business here now, and I'm like, things looking at me, I'm looking at it, and I spent a lot of money trying to get all those, you know, um, equipment and um, tools for that business. But anyway, we move. She was like, she has always known. I said, man, you, you have known, but me, I did not know. To so be honest, I did not know. Personally, I was thinking that, you know, my husband would want to get a job abroad at some point, but I was thinking that it would be, you know, kind of job that you would just go for the job and come back, not that you'd be living abroad. Because it's not even just because of what I was thinking, because of what my husband, you know, used to say, okay? Like, my husband is the kind of person that, I remember when my siblings just relocated, and I was telling my husband, I sure will not even consider this Canada, because I was really feeling, I, when my siblings left, I felt bad though, ah, I felt so lonely, I felt so lonely, to be honest. So, I was telling my husband that, I sure will not even consider this Canada, I sure will not just try and look for a job in Canada, let's try and relocate to Canada. Oh, now that's so my husband bring out spreadsheets. <laughs> my husband opened 
Excel spreadsheet and showed me where he had done his calculations about living expenses both in Nigeria, in Canada, in US, in UK. Okay, all those major countries that people should relocate to. My husband had Excel sheets of, you know, how much things cost. Down to eggs, though. When I'm telling people this thing, because my husband is a very calculative person. I've, I've told you guys this thing before, people will not understand. I keep telling my husband that he's supposed to be in finance. That's just the truth. He's supposed, I don't know what he's doing in the field that he's doing. He's supposed to be in finance. My husband opened Excel sheet, showed me how much bread, egg, fish, chicken, beef, house rent, water bill, light bill, all those things, how much all those things cost in, you know, in those countries compared to Nigeria. And as at when he did these calculations, living in Nigeria was still a better option financially okay i always say financially because when we start going into other aspects then maybe not but financially my husband when he did the calculation he was better off living in nigeria except he always had a caveat except he got a job that paid a certain amount of money minimum okay that has always been his caveat and getting such jobs abroad is not easy okay so at that point i didn't really think that we we'll ever ever relocate okay so when people when i see people coming to say some things i'm just laughing because you know, you know i don't understand the kind of person where i marry <laughs> people don't you know, you don't get it <laughs> people don't get it people think i married a regular ass human being nope 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 you people don't get it though. My husband is a very detailed person. The only reason we could have come to to UK is because he had done his calculations and added, not just even financial this time, he had added, you know, other projections to it, other dynamics to it, and realized that, okay, you know what? Last, last, um, Nigeria will not work for us at that time, right? At the time we were taking the job, it was more than just financial. Even though now, a few months later, we're like, thank you, Jesus. Even the financial self, <laughs> considering how much dollar and uh, whatever has, has appreciated in Nigeria, how, how much Naira has fallen, you know, financially now, it actually makes more sense for us to be here than even in Nigeria. But initially, he was saying no for him to leave Niger for him to leave Nigeria and come abroad, the job must pay him at least three times what he earns in Nigeria, blah, 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 blah. And at that point, such jobs were very, very hard to get. I remember even when I told my siblings that we are leaving, my sister was like, hey, so, because she calls him Brother Charles. She was like, hey, so Brother Charles will agree to leave Nigeria. I said, my sister, you don't see him now. She was like, ah, ah, like, which job is that? <laughs> now, my, my husband will agree to leave Nigeria. I was like, my sister, you don't see him. Anyway, I thought telling Nello, um, I think we caught the call. I mean, I was feeling bad. I felt worse, self, actually. After I, I finished telling her, I now felt worse. Um, then I think she sent me a message saying that, you know, she was even thinking, ah, that even if I will leave, it will be in two or three years' time. I mean, I was still surprised because in my head, I was like, which one is two or three years' time? Two or three years' time, was I not planning, well, I mean, not planning how we go and look for secondary school for Kobe and Cora. Like, which one is two or three years' time? But anyway, I feel like I'm all over the place with this video. Anyway, after I told her she was not happy, personally, I wasn't even happy telling her myself. So that was that about telling Nello. Then I went on to my other friends. If you guys have been watching me, you will know that I am not the kind of person, I've always said this thing before, I don't believe in hiding things from people though. Like, I saw some people say, oh, the reason why they, they are no longer friends for me, that is me and Nello. The reason why we're no longer friends is that I did not tell her. Uh, when I was relocating, that she found out, and uh, she found out on YouTube the way they found out, and I, I just, I just burst out laughing. <laughs> Again, everybody, I, I keep saying this. If you've been watching me, you now I've been saying this, right? I don't care what you say about me. Just make sure you say it on your channel, okay? Open your channel and say whatever you want to say. I promise you, I'm not going to bash you for it. I'm not going to come to your channel and, and say anything. I'm not going to care. I'm not even going to watch, okay? Except somebody brings my attention. I don't even know when all these things happen, okay? It's people like to say, oh, I saw this video. Imagine what somebody's saying about you. Okay, but on a normal day, I don't watch such videos, so YouTube does not even recommend them to me, okay? So, I don't really care what you say on your channel, but don't come to my comment section and talk rubbish, because I'm going to I'm going to address you there. Is it that I delete it if I'm not in the mood? I just delete your comment, or I answer you there, okay? So, talking to those people that come to my comment section and be arguing nonsense. Actually, arguing with my sensible, <laughs> intelligent, respectful subscribers and audience that watch my videos with sense and reply with sense. Then you that you don't have sense will now be walking around my comment section replying to them and talking rubbish. Hey, hey, that's one I cannot take. Go and open your channel. I've told you guys. Open your channel. See what you want to say there. Make money from it and be good, okay? It's not going to bother me one bit. Just don't come to my channel and say rubbish. So when people come and say that thing of, oh, she didn't tell Nello. First of all, eh, the day I found out I was pregnant with Sophia, that morning, not even, I never left the bathroom. 
the two people I told first before I even told my husband was my sister and Nello. Like I told them immediately, like the line never read finish. I've told them, my sister and Nello, my sister and Nello are those two people that as they hurt, I just tell them, okay? If I don't tell them as they hurt, it's not because I'm trying to hide it. It's because maybe I got distracted or something else is happening to me at that point. That's why I didn't say it, okay? So, but anyway, after telling Nello, I think she's the only, she was the last person I told that day. I told my sister, I told my brother. Then my mom was in my house. I didn't even tell my mom, but I told Nello that day. Then I think the next day or two days later, I told my other friends and you know everybody was shocked every everybody i told was shocked okay one of my friends that i'm close to that i would have told you know immediately as well but her husband is my husband's friend in fact the way we became friends is through our husbands because her husband went to school with my husband and you know they are very close so that was how we now became friends so the reason why i didn't tell her immediately is because like i said our husbands are very close friends, so it will be somehow her husband, I'm sure she will tell her husband immediately, it will be somehow her husband hearing it from her instead of from my husband. So that's why I didn't tell her immediately, but she's one of my very close friends, like, she's one of those people that I would have called immediately to tell as well, but I didn't tell her immediately, but I eventually told her, Sha. And when I eventually told her, she had the same reaction, like, eh? So your husband will agree to leave this country. I say, my sister, you don't see him now, you don't see him. You know, anyway, um... That's that about okay then Neze. Yes, at least you guys know Neze. For Neze, I messaged Neze. I think we chatted on, on WhatsApp and I told her and I was like, sister, it's happening again, no? As you as you as you relocated abroad, because Neze as well is one of those people that never wanted to leave Nigeria as well. So in my head, before before I used to think that ah, me and Neze we still there now. Me and Neze know they go anywhere. All of you should be going. Me and Neze, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> me, Neza and Delo, we are here. Until Neza, Neza told me one day that she wants to leave too. I say, ah, because Neza told me even before she took the exam, I think she was trying to take the exam that time. You know, that's when she even told me. So, when Neza now left, I was like, ah, okay, now nah, that means uh, last class, our paths have, you know, separated. We're no longer going along in the same path. Our paths have finally deviated, you know, aside from the first child paths, okay? <laughs> I was like, ah, last class, our path has finally, you know, that the what's the word diverge or whatever anyway so that was until my husband now told me that we are relocating as well i now told her that nah, that's that thing don't they work again no how come now me too i'm relocating and my own was so fast the same year essentially the same year me and Neze left the funny part is that as as when Neze left nigeria it was not even in the plans for us to leave nigeria okay but the same year we still ended up leaving nigeria the same year like make it make sense <laughs> make it make sense anyway when i told neze neze was excited she was like don't worry you eventually come to canada and i was like yemo i'm not going to any canada <laughs> i'm not going to any canada but anyway let me just say it now in case you people wake up tomorrow and see that i've ended up in canada is neze that cost it too is neze that cost it if i end up in canada tomorrow now neze use her mouth stock and um, but yeah, that's it about Neze. So I can't even remember when I finally told my parents, but I think I told them before we went for our visas, I think. Yeah, before we went for our visas, was as in we've already gotten a date to go and process our visas. And I know that the UK visa does not take too long to come out. It's not like Canada that you'll be waiting and waiting. So when I knew that, okay, we have been booked to go and process our visas and our visas will come out maximum two weeks. That was when I now told my parents, knowing that, okay, it's already happening. At that point, I was sure of the details. I didn't want to tell my mom I should be excited and they should not be waiting. I'll be looking, I'll be waiting for the day that her children will come and leave. I called my mom and I told her, my mom was so excited, you guys. My mom, hey, hey, hey. She was so happy. Because the truth is that, I mean, I've told you guys already, my mom has always wanted me and my kids to leave Nigeria. Like anytime she sees Cora and the way Cora used to behave, she'll be like, ah, this Nigeria does not fit this child. You people should do fast and come and carry these children out of this country. And when she used to say that thing that time, I used to be like, ah, this woman, make her no bust your bubble, make her no just bust your bubble because it's not gonna happen, you know. So when she says, I'll just either laugh or tell her, nah, now nah, my husband, you go tell you. In fact, my mom has even had a conversation with my husband several times and the answer was always no, no, no. But I'm sure somewhere in my mom's mind, she has been praying that, you know, God would change his heart and he would, you know, decide to live with the kids. When I now eventually told her, she was so she was so happy. My dad was happy as well. Everybody was so excited. I just finished putting my lashes. I don't even understand how it looks, but <laughs> we move. 
Anyway, um, yeah, so the truth is that even with my mom, one of the reasons why I was okay staying back in Nigeria is because I just felt like it's somehow leaving my parents alone in Nigeria. I mean, they were my younger brother, but you guys know the story about that. So it's somehow just leaving them in Nigeria, like I need to take care of them. Even like a month or two before this whole thing happened, I was looking for a house for my parents in Port Harcourt, okay? I was seriously searching for a house for them somewhere close to my house self i was like i need my parents to be close by so that you know i can take care of them because even me traveling to the village to go and see them was not easy because of my kids will i be traveling with my kids all the time and you know they even have a house in oka but there's no flight from potaka to oka so i must enter card anytime i want to go and see them it wasn't going to be very convenient for me so i was even thinking because me and my siblings discussed and were like we just feel that the best thing is for us to look for a house for them in port harcourt port harcourt is still close enough to the village that they can go there anytime they want but you know they're not just alone in the village so that was my own plan for them meanwhile my own parents plan was all of us should make a come out <laughs> Make her can they go, can they go? Somehow, somehow, even the way that house did not even work out eventually. Maybe not their prayer work. Maybe not their prayer cause some. Then for my aunt and Elizabeth, when I told them, obviously they were shocked because you know it was quite sudden. Um yeah, they were shocked, but there was really aside, you know, just that ah really, there was really no emotional outburst or reaction to it. I don't know if it's because I'm not an emotional person, okay? Emotions are for weaklings. <laughs> Emotions are for weaklings, okay? <laughs> okay, but on a serious note, I'm not a very outwardly emotional person. So that might be why they were not outwardly emotional or anything. But yeah, I could tell that they were not happy either. Like, not like they were not happy. It's not like they were sad for me. But I could just tell that, you know, they were thinking but that was it pretty much so the summary of this whole gist is that i generally got two different reactions from two different camps okay for my family the reaction i got was excitement happiness you know joy everybody was happy for me everybody was you know like planning you're already making plans and just i remember telling my sister-in-law my sister-in-law was like eh, eh, eh. like we already started making plans about how we'll travel here they'll come and meet me we'll go and meet them you know all those kind of things because i mean now it's going to be easier to travel from UK to Canada than from Nigeria to Canada, okay? So, that was the reaction from my family. Then for my friends, it was a mixture of... It, it, in fact, I won't even say... It was, it was a mixture of... Will I say pity? Not even pity. I don't know how to explain their reaction. It's like, I don't know. Aside Neze, okay, Neze was excited for me. But for my other friends, they were more like... Maybe because they are in Nigeria, they were more like, how are you going to cope? How are you going to manage? Like, you know, they're just, they were more concerned. Hey, I think concerned is the word. They were more concerned for me than, you know, outward excitement, okay, for my friends. Family, it was excitement. They don't even care how I'm going to cope. <laughs> how are you going to cope? That was concerned you. They, don't, they didn't really talk much about how I was going to cope. They were more excited that we are finally leaving Nigeria, okay? But for my friends, it was more concerned. It was more, you know, hey, yeah, so you are leaving us. But all in all, I can say that you know, no matter how each person took the news, everybody was genuinely, you know, coming from a good place, okay? Everybody, like, I don't know, it just made me feel loved, you know? The ones that felt bad for me, felt bad for me. <laughs> the ones that felt happy for me, felt happy for me. But all in all, it was genuine, you know, concern for me. And I think that's because even the people I surround myself with are all genuine people. I don't have any fake friend or anybody that I'm faking friendship with. Like, if I don't gel with you that much, you would know. Like, uh, you would know. I don't, I don't even have so many friends, okay? So the few that I have, is easy to, <laughs> easy to manage them, okay? So yeah, as for family, um, those are the family I told, okay? Including my husband's family as well. My husband actually traveled to see his family and tell them as well. Um, and then my cousin, I told two of my cousins that live in Port Harcourt. And that was it. Every other family member, they either heard it from my mom or they heard it on the on the YouTube because some of them watch me, so they get their updates from the YouTube. <laughs> that's where some of them would have heard it from. That is the ones I didn't tell directly. But yeah, that's it. If you have relocated to any country, UK, whatever, let me know how your family and friends reacted. Is it the same thing? Were your family happy? Were your friends concerned or why your family concerned and your friends were happy let me know in the comment section but i'm sure that now people are not really concerned for me again because they've seen that you know 
my life here is not that terrible like i'm not i'm not suffering here um i don't have help here but I, i'm not dead like i'm i'm thriving i'm doing well so i think now everybody's like okay she's good like she's good because even though i say my family we are all excited for me at some points they all express concern as well as per ah, how will you cope with the three kids it's not easy but you know but we're happy for you but it's not easy but we're happy for you <laughs> It's not easy, but you must go there, whether I like it or not. It's not. We understand that it's not easy, but shall come and be great. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys